Hello, hello. This is Tamara Hergert. Uh, today I will be talking about art gallery representation. And um, the question I will be answering is, can you be represented by multiple galleries? So let's take a look. Um, the quick answer is yes, you can be represented by multiple galleries, but it may not always be the best thing for you if a, the gallery is located uh, too far away from you and the shipping costs are very expensive. Um, and if the gallery's focus is uh, totally not something um, what aligns with your art, um, basically their collectors are not looking for your kind of art. Um, and uh, if the gallery's commissions are also um, something unreasonable. Uh, and also you need to think about the gallery's relationships with collectors. Basically, uh, when you are um, working with the gallery, you need to be mindful of how long uh, they've been in business you know is this uh do they have an established collector base do they work with interior designers decorators um and uh and so i would uh, highly recommend that uh, if you're working with uh, a new and upcoming gallery that is uh, expanding its uh, media in the uh, or reaching the media, then absolutely uh, go ahead and work uh, with them. Um, but also, um, if you are um, getting representation from an older gallery, um, you know they probably have uh, very good relationships already established with the community and uh, and beyond the community as well, and have some sort of uh, uh, relationships and reputations there. So, uh, in reputation there. So, uh, if you do decide to work with multiple gallery, galleries, it's important to be clear about your expectations uh, with each gallery and also let them know that you are represented by multiple galleries um, or by some other galleries so that they're aware of um, your commitment to other galleries as well. And it's totally fine to be um, uh, open and honest about this and I know uh, several artists who are represented by more than four galleries. It's totally okay. For example, if you have local themed art that is in high demand in your area, like you live somewhere on the beach and there are lots of galleries um, that represent coastal uh, and beach themed art, and uh, there's just lots of demand for this kind of art. Uh, it would not surprise me if you get uh, lots of uh, representation uh, yeses from those galleries. And they completely understand that, uh, you know, it's not uh, an exclusive relationship between you and them. You can be represented by somebody in some, some other gallery, you know. And um, you also need to be mindful of uh, what gallery representation means. It means that um whatever their gallery representation agreement states that's what's uh what they put in 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 stone or set in stone but um you also you know, just talk to them and get a very good idea of uh, how they're picturing uh, your relationship uh whether there will be solo or group exhibits whether they will just carry one piece of your uh, art and you know be satisfied with that or they would like uh, more uh, continuous flow of uh, new artworks from you so uh, so these are all the things to consider from from that perspective and one more thing just be clear about your goals and uh, uh, what do you want to achieve by working with multiple galleries? Do you want to expand your reach? Do you want to increase your sales, gain exposure exposure to new collectors? And um, uh, if you have the answers to uh, all of these questions, then you know your goals and you uh, can be crystal clear on uh, which galleries you will be reaching out to. 
uh, and so do your research. Not every gallery will be right for you and you will not be right for every gallery. So usually there is a match um, between what uh, what you're offering and what they are carrying and what their collectors and uh, interior designers um, or decorators are hoping for or looking for. Um, also be professional uh, show up to their uh, opening shows and our art uh, um, art shows and exhibits and just start building relationships if you haven't already um, just network and introduce yourself and be uh, positive and uh, clear and uh, um, also a tip from uh, from multiple artists that I've talked to it is okay to bring your iPad with you and uh, just show some of your uh, work on your iPad or on your phone. Um, and, you know, if you are seeking representation, because oftentimes galleries get bombarded by um, uh, emails from artists seeking representation. But if you actually show up to their uh, opening night, uh, and uh, just have a conversation, literally conversation, and uh, uh, and you may get a chance to just actually in person show your uh, art um, digitally on like on your iPad or phone, and so that's a great uh, way to get your foot in the door, and um, you know possibly get a yes versus a no if you just reach out by email. Um, also be clear about your terms of um, for how long you would uh, let them have the uh, the work uh, that you have mean your artworks and uh, whether you want to rotate your artworks uh, between gal the galleries that you're working with and always communicate clearly and respectfully because the, this is a professional world and, and um, uh, make sure that everybody's on the same page uh, and of course last but not least uh, promote your events and your work uh, as much as you can wherever you can and um, um, so these are my tips for working with multiple galleries so hopefully this was uh, helpful to you and if you like this episode um, please take a, a quick look at our free master class it's called pricing commission projects it's only 20 minutes long it's on demand uh, and a, the uh, price that we charge uh, for this class usually is $150 but right now it is absolutely free to you. So if you would like to learn how much to, char to charge for commissioned uh, artworks uh, or murals or digital work, uh, art, um, feel free to uh, just go and uh, sign up for this class and watch it and learn, it and learn from it. And uh, hopefully this will uh, get the ball rolling for you uh, in terms of... Um, uh, getting your foot into the commission projects world um, and so I am wishing you all the love and success uh, on your creative path and please uh, keep uh, keep listening to our uh, podcast and uh, if you like this episode and some other episodes uh, and feel free to leave a review for our podcast and uh, check out our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Um, I am signing off. Thank you so much. Bye for now.